What's up, y'all? We are on our way to 7-Eleven to pick up some 7-Eleven exclusive type items in honor of July 11th, 7-Eleven Day. Reviews from the tub. Reviews from the tub. Gonna review from my tub. All right, what is up, man? We are getting ready for 7-Eleven Day, July 11th. 7-Eleven on your calendar. So in a pre-COVID world, 7-Eleven would offer free Slurpees on July 11th, 7-Eleven day. I don't know if that's happening again this year, but if it is and you go in for your free Slurpee, you might be a little hungry, a little peckish and want to snack on something. So I got today an array of 7-Eleven exclusive type items, the 7 Select brand. We did this video last year. Thanks for celebrating 7-Eleven day with us. We got all new things this year. Where should we start? I know exactly where I'm gonna start. This video's gonna jump around a bit. It's gonna look a little crazy. We're going right here with this because I didn't eat dessert tonight. And I, I got a little sweet tooth going on here. Look at this from the 7 Select. There's that little logo right there. Chocolate cupcakes. Now, you look at these and you're like, yeah, I've seen them before. Hostess makes them. Yeah, they do. But I kind of want to know how close to Hostess these are. Now, it's been a minute since I've had Hostess's cupcakes, but I feel like that's a flavor you can't forget. So we're just going to jump right in there. Hey. Yeah, there's that iconic swirl. Is that how they get away from the copyright? They do it off center instead of right up the middle? I don't know. Say, how did they get this? <laughs> right, they did it a little bit to the left or to the right. All right, item number one, chocolate cupcake. Oh yeah, got the cream inside as you would come to expect. I gotta tell you, I think this is the same as a hostess. If I was a good YouTube channel, I would have different price points to see what kind of value you get picking 7 Selects brand. Well, I'm not. This is alright though, this is hitting the spot right here. I wanted a little something sweet. This cupcake, you can get yourself a glass of milk. They sell milk at 7-Eleven. Classic combination, I love it. Let's see what else we got. Now, if you have a hankering for something savory and say potato chippy, look at this right here. Now, 7-Eleven has some crazy flavors. We did a smoked Gouda potato chip before. We're doing a potato chip next. We did a, a smoked Gouda, and I've seen this there forever, and so it's not new, and I've just been scared to try it. Prime rib flavored potato chips. Now, prime rib, easily my least favorite cut of meat. I think it is, I think it is just Overrated as overrated can get. It sucks. It sucks. There, I said it. You know, you go to a wedding, you're like, oh, would you like the prime rib or the fish? That's that. You know what? Fuck it. Give me the fish. You don't order fish out, but you do when the prime rib. No, but people love it. I don't understand why. I did. I am also apprehensive because on this channel, we have tried a lot of meat dusted potato chips, meat flavored potato chips. They're gnarly. Ugh. Let's see what's up with these. It smells like burnt meat. Like. <sighs> Bottoms up. Mm -mm. No. Well, maybe on the back end. Mm. That is interesting as interesting gets. Oh, it, mm. let's try again. At first, as soon as it hits your mouth, you're like, oh, that's burnt meat. And then a second and a half to two seconds in, it tastes like a salty steak, which is up my alley. I love steak. I love salty. I don't know prime ribs. This is, you know, cut of beef, steak, yada, yada. They, they just... Uh... No, that's not something you want to eat a potato chip. And I'm not saying you should pigeonhole yourself into the classic sour cream and onion salt and vinegar barbecue. You could branch out, but I don't care what this tastes like or how good it is. Why wow, the meat, meat flavored potato chips is just not right. And the, the initial taste wasn't right. The aftertaste ain't right. That middle taste was like, ooh, salty uh, steak, but mm -mm. Oh. Now, if you are craving something hot for lunch, hey, yeah, listen, man, I don't want potato chips for lunch. I don't want a, a cupcake for lunch. I want something hot. They got you covered there, too. They got the hot section. The food is being prepared. They got the pizza pie, hot dogs. You know what? Let's grab something hot and let's head out to the car to check that out. Gonna review sh Except I'm in my car. Ketchup. That's really good. There's cheese in the middle of it. I'm gonna, no, I want to go first. You want to try it? I don't, I don't think I want it without ketchup. Sorry. Y'all, I, I thought this thing was going to be the gnarliest thing ever. I mean, I guess in theory. It tastes like a, just like a fine cheeseburger. It's just ground beef with cheese in the middle, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I've had frozen cheeseburgers before. Can I put a little piece of pickle on my Yeah, bread? yeah, absolutely. I've had frozen cheeseburgers before. Is it hot? 
Um, no, it's, I mean, it's hot, but it's, and you know you're eating a frozen cheeseburger, but it's no way near as offensive or gross as you think it would be. I got a little pickles to go with it. I don't know if we're tasting the same thing. Although, I'm not sure if what I don't like is the bun or the, the thing. Can I just taste the thing by itself? It's definitely a, a cheap cheeseburger, but... Mm. The bun is weird. The bun sucks. That's not that bad. I don't think yeah. I'd seek it out. But. No, I wouldn't seek it out, but if I was in one of my weird funks, every once in a while, I'm just starving in the middle of the afternoon, I run to 7-Eleven, I usually grab one of those slices of pizza. I, you know, this this isn't a bad idea. Took it with a bun. That bun sucks. It's got like weird taste to it. Yeah, I, don't, I like it. Back to the kitchen. All right, man. How about that uh, hamburger stick? We got two more things to go here. It's in the microwave right now, man. We got ourselves one of them there burritos where you just throw it in the microwave over there at the 7-Eleven and you press number three on the microwave. If you bring it home and have a 1700 watt microwave, who the f knows this stuff? It's a minute and 15 seconds and you got yourself a delicious bean and cheese burrito. I ain't eating this alone. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get my wife slash producer slash, uh, well, burrito taster involved. She's gonna love it. It's gonna be so good. Hot, 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 Yeah, I said just rip open one side and bang it out for a minute and fifteen. I'll tell you what, this this is pretty good looking for a big old fake burrito. It looks semi-official, you know. Price tag on here says $2.99. I, I, I think this might be worth it for $2.99. Probably taste it first before I would, oh God, that's hot. All right, we're gonna let this cool down for a minute. All right, I think we're good to go. Honey Bomb, come eat burrito with me. Honey Bomb, come eat some burrito. Look at this here, look at this. Beans and cheese. Oh yeah. Are you ready to feast? This looks gnarly. Yeah, it looks delicious. It doesn't look like real cheese. It looks like cheese whiz. It does look like cheese whiz. It smells like a cheese product. My hair looks crazy. That's all right. I'm, your hair looks crazy. Like I got my nipples are flying and oh, it's hot. That's not that hot. Oh, hot, hot. I want to eat it, but it's hot. You'll be okay. What do we think? It's all, it's, um, it's not bad. The cheese is spicy. The, the cheese, cheese is spicy. <laughs> I, I was gonna say. It, I got a mouthful of cheese and it's spicy. Okay. It's like their nacho cheese. Yeah, yeah, I definitely think it's their, it's yeah. It's not bad. Like I've eaten worse things. The tortilla is kind of crap. Weird. This is easily, the, it's not bad, but it's easily the worst frozen burrito I've ever had. I haven't had many. It's the, my mom always used to get like this, like this giant bag of like bean and cheese burritos when I was younger. It was like, you know, snack out of the drawer mm -hmm. real quick after school. You know, they were like, yay big. And it was literally just like bean yeah. and cheese. That is infinitely better. Like this is like the cheap, really cheap version. Of yeah, that. yeah, 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 yeah. All right, we got one more thing left and we got a Bev. Oh, maybe I can't open this mother. Half and half iced tea from the Seven Selects. Now I am a big fan of Jack Nicholas. He's a famous golfer and he invented the half iced tea, half lemonade after Jack him. Jack Nicholas? Yeah, the golfer. I thought it was Arnold Palmer. Ah, same guy. Is it? No. Oh. All right. Now, I drink a glass or three of these every night with my dinner and then knock one back after, after dinner. I know what I'm looking for here. <clears throat> Can I have some? Yeah, it's just gonna give it a... <laughs> A zhuzh for you. I'm dying of spice in my mouth. Please. You're both it smells like you go. Is that Arizona? No, Arizona. You haven't had one in a while. Yeah, it's a trip. This isn't bad. It doesn't taste like Arizona. Wait, I usually, I'm an Arizona man. This isn't bad though. It's not that not bad. I would reach for the Arizona, and the Arizonas are only a dollar, and I'd still get that big ass can for a dollar. How much was that? I don't know. I don't know where the receipt is. I, nothing we tried. I, don't know why was, I keep eating this. Uh, no, I don't want any more. Uh, not that we tried was bad, except for those the prime rib chips. They were terrible. This tastes like uh, artificial sweetener. Yeah, yeah, all right, so it's not. All right, if you're going to go into 7-Eleven on 7-Eleven day and get yourself your free slushy, but you also want a snack, the chocolate cupcake is recommended. The cheeseburger stick is recommended. Get a little pickles on there. The prime rib potato chips, no, just walk right by. In fact, just take them and throw them in the garbage. Do the whole world of fla uh, flavor. The bean burrito, just go get yourself an apple fritter. You'll thank me later. And the iced tea, reach for reach for an Arizona. It's all right, but 
A-Zone's definitely better. A-Zone's definitely probably better. probably the same quantity. Yeah. Uh, I think that's it, man. That, that's it. That's it on part two of the 7-Eleven vlog. Guys, I want to thank you so much for stopping by. I want to thank my lovely wife slash producer slash on-screen talent. Uh, she's touching my bum right now. Hey, well, not anymore. I ruined it. She's touching my butt again. Be sure to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and Twitch at Reviews from the Tub. It would be greatly appreciated if you did. Without you, man, we're just uh, talking to the walls and eating eating this bullshit. Thanks, guys. See you later. My tummy hurts already. Already? I don't know if it's directly related, but... It might be. It's gross looking now. Bye.